my soul. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're always down for me and always been around for me, even when I was bad. You showed me right from my wrong. Yes, you did. And you took up from me when everyone was doubting me. You always did understand. You gave me strength to go on. There was so many times looking back when I was so afraid. And then you come to me and say, babe, you can face anything. No one else can do what you've done for me. You will always be, you will always be the girl in my life for all time. Whoa, Mamba. Mamba, you know I love you. You know I love you. No, I you love know you. I love you. Mama. Ooh. Mama, you're the queen of my heart. You're the queen of my heart. Your love is like tears from the stars. Your love is like tears from the stars. Mama, I just want you to know. Mama, I just want you to know. Chris Hanif. Chris. Let's go.
face of God is all I am. The face of God is all I see. So, when that person has laid on your last nerve, Can you see the face of God? Ha! Huh? When somebody's bringing you a bone, can you see the face of God? See, because what mama said is love one another as yourself. We're going to talk about that more later. How about that men's choir? It's a wonderful thing to see men in service to God, yes? And we want more of that, yes? Mm-hmm. Well, from within, I let my heart begin to see the face of God. See, Matthew said, 5, 8, if you need the numbers. The pure in heart shall see God. It doesn't say the pure in heart may see God. Sometimes see God. When I feel like it, see God. When I'm in church, see God. On Monday, see God. On Tuesday, see God. On Wednesday, see God. Thursday, Friday, you know the week. Oh, I know it's hard. I know it's hard because when I forget who I am, I forget who you are. See now, <laughs> Ernest Holmes says, is there any news of heaven other than that which comes through the thought of another? See, everybody is a messenger. Everybody is bringing a message. You're all angels. Each of you are bringing a message. Turn to your neighbor and say, what message are you bringing? Mm-hmm. So, Ernest Holmes says, whoever thinks purity sees it and is beholding good. Well, now, if you have people who are doing certain things that don't reflect God, that doesn't dismiss the fact that they still are God. See, your mama, when you got out of pocket, she had to straighten you up, right? But she didn't stop loving you. She didn't stop seeing the potential in you to be greater than you are acting. See, the face, uh-huh, I'm sure, but I'm going to have to check your shoe size for those red shoes, Michael. With the, with the gold plate around the edge. 
Pepsi. That too is God. Soranus Holmes says, the face of the ancient of days on looks eternity and the upward glance ever sees this reality in all things. See, the face of the ancient days is, 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 is not only the God of Abraham, not only the God of, of Moses, not only Krishna, not only Muhammad, not only Zoroaster, not only Buddha, the face of God is each one of us. So it's important for us to know that not just an upward glance allows us to see the face of God, but the face of God is in the mirror. Hello? The face of God is in your so-called enemy. The face of God is in that person that you're not trying to be with who keeps trying to be with you. The face of God, hello. Somebody's home. The face of God is in that person who means harm because they have forgotten who they are. And, and, and we all have our, our version of how we need to remind them of who they are. Put that one aside and pray about it. But the way to remind them of who they are is to give them more love. <laughs> See, only love is happening. It's either a call for love or an act of love. Oh, some of y'all are calling for love big time. Lord have mercy. So, <laughs> Ernest Holmes says, the pure in heart not only shall see God, but do see him. See, we're talking about purity. We're not talking about all that stuff you put on. We're not talking about your red shoes. We're not talking about, you know, your bad hat. We're not talking about the outer appearance that you want people to see. We're not talking about your persona that you're putting on because you're trying to impress somebody. We're not talking about your degrees. We're not talking about your position. We're not talking about your race. We're not talking about your age. We're not talking about your sexuality. We are talking about your essence. So understand that you can turn within and begin to see the face of God, but you've also got to turn without to see the face of God. See, Hindu scripture says you have eyes. Yes. You know, she has eyes because she can see. The Hindu scripture says you have eyes because you can see. So your seeing is not dependent on these. Ask a blind person. They have a seeing that you can't know because it is a vibration that they are catching whenever they're walking in a room. It is a vibration that they're catching when they encounter different people in order to navigate through this life, they have to rely on their inner seeing in order to be able to get through. So a mother sees, you know, Matthew says 13, 16, if you need the numbers, blessed are your eyes for they see. Few indeed, when looking, see. How many times have you looked at someone and made a judgment? Don't get quiet now. How many times have you made up your mind about somebody before you even had a conversation with them? 
okay? How many times have you heard somebody say something and twist it around as the totality of who they are? See, mama didn't leave you when you were cutting the food. Or if she